the TVS Apache RTR 204 volts carburetor variant has joined the Zig Wheels garage and hear how it performed in its over 2000 km journey with us ever since the time I rode the TVS Apache RTR 204 volts at the manufacturer's HOSA production facility I was impressed. Although the short test track wasn't the best place to explore the full potential of the bike, we got a good idea of the new bike's performance. But the real test for the new Apache was on the roads, in real world conditions. So when the Apache RTR 204 volts was added to the Zig Wheels fleet I was quick to snatch the keys and make it my new long termer. The TVS Apache was always a handsome looking motorcycle, and gladly the same sporty lines have been carried forward in the new bike. The lines are sharper and the motorcycle is much compact than its predecessor despite maintaining the familiar Apache DNA. The boomerang shaped LED DRLs look very nice, especially in the night, and many youngsters like this detail. Other interesting details like the sharp fuel tank extensions, offset fuel tank, matte paint finish and the Batman logo type grab rail play their part in distinguishing the RTR 200 from the crowd. My only grouse is the exhaust muffler that feels a bit oddball. The instrument console is an all-digital unit with white backlit and despite the plethora of information, it is easy to read on the go. That said, the shift light indicator should have been larger. The clip-on bars and mildly rear-set foot pegs result in a slightly sporty but comfortable riding posture. Also the generous saddle means that the rider doesn't get cramped for space. Also the stepped seats mean that the rear seat is pillion friendly but the saddle height is a bit high. The new Apache RTR 200 gets two engine options carburetor and fuel injection. Our long term bike is the carbureted version that develops 20 PS at 8500 revolutions per minute and 18.1 Newton meters of torque at 7000 revolutions per minute. The first thing that strikes you about the new power plant is the reduced NVH as compared to the RTR 180. Acceleration is brisk with the gear ratios spread out to offer good 060 kmph sprint while the throaty exhaust note gives good company. But the engine does have a tendency to get heated up when riding at crawling speeds in traffic. The 5 speed gearbox performs decently but doesn't offer crisp shifts like its Japanese rivals. The bike easily attains triple digit speeds but I haven't yet got an opportunity to stretch its legs on the highway properly. My commute to office is through dense traffic and despite it, the Apache RTR 200 returned us around 45 kmpl which is impressive in my opinion. Handling in city traffic is not that great owing to the wide turning radius which means you can't squeeze your way through the tightest of the gaps. High speed cornering though has improved remarkably as the bike doesn't sway mid corner like its predecessor and there is good amount of grip and feedback from the optional piley rubber. The new Apache is also the first TVS bike to get a monoshock suspension system and I must admit that it has the best ride quality in its segment. Our initial journey with the Apache RTR 200 has been a good one but the real test of the bike lies in the arduous Mumbai monsoon, soon.